Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is me, Diva TT, and I am coming at you guys with another makeup video. Doing a different look today. So, um, let me move this pillow. It's like in the back. I'm on my bed, y'all. I'll be doing it from my bed. I'll be doing it from my bed because it's the most cost. It's the most comfortable. So yeah, if you see something in the background, it's my blanket and my um just some blankets and some pillows. But anyways, um guys. Oh, I see my um Jolly Rancher. I'm about to pop this in my mouth. Anyways, guys, I am Diva TT, also known as Tiffany. Well no, I am Tiffany, also known as Diva TT. Whatever way. I am both people. I said I'm both people. I am she, okay? So anyways, guys, I'm just going and get into it. Make sure you guys give this video a fat thumbs up. And like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Turn the post notifications on so that you guys can be notified every time that I upload. Because I'm getting better at this uploading thing, guys. I think so. I want to become more consistent. That is my goal. And yeah, so okay, I'm going to do a different look today. I'm going to try to do a different look. Remember, I told y'all every time I do my makeup, I never know how it's going to come out. But we're going to do some eyeshadow. I'm going to do foundation. And I'll be showing you guys the finished look at the end with my hair. Well, not my hair. I'm not doing my hair today, guys. Guess what? I'm going to put on a little wiggy wig. So, you guys will see the finished look. Okay? So, I'm about to get into it. I'm going to stop holding you guys. I'm just going to just go through with it okay because y'all pretty much seen how I do my eyebrows and everything like that I already shaved them shaped them shaped up my eyebrows and everything like that so I'm just about to fill them on I fill them in I'm just about to fill them in and if I'm looking down you guys it's because of course my mirror is right here I gave myself a good shape today I'm just gonna go according to my brow shape. Brush it out, brush it out. And of course, we're gonna clean up with concealer in a minute. When your eyebrows have a good shape to them, it is easier to fill in your brows and go according to the shape. Okay, I'm rather a mirror. I always start off with my brows first, and then next. I'm going to go into my eyeshadow. I'm just cleaning them up, going according to the shape. Okay. looking pretty even today but I am gonna the step that I usually forget to tell you guys is that I just um, I take like a little brush and I usually just brush out the front of them so that they look a little bit more natural or in case I did not um, go all the way to the front like blend it out pull it out pull it out pull it out We don't want no harsh lines in the front of those brows. So now I'm gonna um, blend out my um, concealer. Blending it out and pulling it down. And 
and smoothing it out. I like these um, eyebrows way better than I did my last video. I'm about to start doing my um, eyeshadow. I'm about to just completely cover my eye with concealer. From the front, the whole thing. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna cover it all because this is gonna be my my canvas for my colors and whatever colors I'm gonna do today. I have no co no clue what um, colors I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna do the other side. Usually I would use like my P. Louise, but I've actually lost it. I lost my P. Louise eyeshadow primer base. So I'm going to have to re rebuy that. Right now I am using, just using my, my regular old MAC concealer. Covering my whole eye eyelid. I know it is looking kind of messy how I'm putting it on, but I'm just trying to make sure it's on there, y'all. I'm going to use the brown. I must look down in my mirror. And I'm going to put the brown up here. Right above the lid space. And then I put it, I use I put it on a fluffy brush so I can just blend it out as I'm applying it. Put it above. And I'm gonna do the same on the next eye. I like when um for my first colors of eyeshadow, like when I'm putting it putting it above the lid I like to for it to be like a, a warm brown color all the time I'm sure you can use other colors but these colors just work out for me so I'm also blending it as I am putting it on blend 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 and I'm just applying more color so I can see the color up more off so the color could just show up better. Like sometimes you can just layer your foundation depending on how much color you want to see. I mean you want to be able to see. I just like to try to see a lot of the color. So blend, blend, blend. Okay. So next I'm going to just apply something to the lid but I'm just gonna just stay it's like a plum color it looks like like a plum color and I'm just putting it above like or as a second color you can also put it on the side right here so can you see how the two colors they look pretty cute um, mixed together I always love to mix and match my colors. I really didn't have a color scheme that I was going for today. I'm just applying, putting a darker color above the lid space and then blend it out so that the two colors can meet and there's no harsh lines. I am not a professional, but this is how I do my makeup. So if I'm not doing it right, or I'm just, you know, to y'all or to anybody out there, this is the way I'm doing it. And it's really no right or wrong way. 
that you want to do your makeup you just want to look nice and presentable and pretty and definitely no harsh lines because I remember when I first started putting on um, eyeshadow I didn't know what I was doing I probably still don't know what I'm doing but <laughs> it is what it is because I am self-taught I am self-taught at this thing I practiced for ye I practiced for years and years and years and at, I'm not gonna lie at eyeshadow I'm just not the best sometimes I come out looking like a raccoon and sometimes I come out cute but I, I'm assuming that's everybody anybody even if the, the best of the best out there if you do your makeup you gonna have hit and miss days I promise some days some colors or just the way you did it or the way you applied it just ain't going it ain't gonna hit right but I always, when, even when I mess up or, I don't, or my makeup doesn't come out like I wanted it to, I just keep going. Sometimes it even messes up my mood sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. If I'm going for a certain look and I'm not able to achieve it or even just achieve something that's just presentable. So now I gotta figure out. Wait, if it's not, yeah, like I said, presentable. Let me finish my thought. One time I just jumble up all my thoughts and y'all probably like, oh my God, she be rambling. I sometimes do so I guess I'm gonna try this um, this little peachy color let's just try the peachy can't go wrong with that so we got the plum color, the brown color the plum color and then we're gonna try peachy I don't know how that's gonna look together y'all hopefully it come out cute I didn't do no cut crease so should I do a, do a cut crease or apply more concealer or let's just see it might be cute just like this. It's okay. It's not bad. I see a little creasing right there. I should have maybe put my Tarte Shape Tape on. It's a little creasy crease. But I have like folds in my eyelids. So it's not gonna even make a darn difference. <laughs> I got little folds in my eyelids. So I'm just gonna apply it on again to make it more pigmented, make it more that color show up. I should have did my cut crease. But you know what? This is good enough. I'm always saying this is good enough, huh? Like, I'm not about to redo it. Like, no. However it come out, it come out. Because <laughs> I'm like, nah. I'm about to. So, let's see. I'm about to put it on this eye. This gray hair is just standing straight up. Like, I am over these things. Like, I'm over it. They just standing straight up. Like, saying, hello, hello. I'm looking in my mirror, y'all. These gray hairs are saying, hello, how you doing? I want to get my makeup done, too. Like, why are you doing me this way? Like, they're just so cruel. I'm trying to zoom out. Can y'all even see it? Yeah, these are saying, hello, how you doing? It has a baby. It has a daughter. I mean, a, a little baby, a little teenage daughter as well. I'm gonna do another video where I'm dying them darn things so you can say goodbye you little gray hair family okay so hmm, this all right I ain't about to change it this is what we doing today even whether it was what I was looking for or not now what I can do is Oh, and this down here, don't worry about it. We're going to fix it up. We're going to, it's a little fallout from the eyeshadow. I'm going to fix it up. I'm not going to just go out looking like a little, now looking like a real raccoon, okay? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go back in with that darker color. Let's see. Because I think I blended it out so much, I can't even. Can't even tell. But once I put my eye, my eyeliner on and stuff, 
it'll look a little better. I be kind of messy. I feel like I'm kind of messy. I need to, um, I don't know what I need to do. But see, this is why I don't do makeup for other people because, see, I'm not the best. But I can always mess up on myself, you know, and improve and learn, you know. But people be like, oh, let me do your makeup. Can you do my makeup? I'll be like, uh oh. I don't know about that one <laughs> because I'm just not sure of it um I'm not sure how my makeup be coming out but I did Lori makeup and her makeup always came out cute and I've done some things for my granny like put some makeup on for her and it looked great but of course granny is just not used to the new school way of kind of doing makeup or whatever I don't even know what class I'm in. Maybe I'm old school doing makeup. Anyways. Okay. I guess I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put on my Inglot. Inglot eyeliner. And it's not the pencil. This one is like a, a gel liner. It's like a gel liner. And I use this. And I use a brush like this, like a curved, thin brush, and that's how I get my eyeliner on. And I'm using Inglot. Let me just show y'all what it's looking like. The Inglot has a whole website, and you can go in there and get you some Inglot. Oh, it's focused today, y'all. It's focused. Inglot. Now I know how to focus it. I'm just using this camera, and I don't really be knowing all the features and stuff but I know if I get it all the way up close like I just did it did focus for me for the first time hey I found something new okay so I'm just gonna apply the Inglot eyeliner on there on the top lid it's looking clumped on let's see I hope I don't F it up guys It gets a little bit on my eye, eye um, eyelashes. Oh, let me keep a close eye. Okay, so I didn't F it up. Or at least F it up too bad. I didn't F it up too bad, guys. I'm trying to set this mirror up so it'll just stay. Okay. So that's one eye done. The other eye with the ink lock gel liner just trust the process I know it's looking messy how I'm putting it on I'm not the best at this eye let me stop talking and focus I'm about to try to fix it. Hold on. Oh, okay. I fixed it. Hey, now. Let me. I still got some of my brush. I'm going to just apply it on this side. So they can kind of match I am not the best if you guys have any tips and tricks that you guys feel like a use please drop it down in the comment section 
Okay, so now I'm about to just put the primer on my face. Put some primer. I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime again. I already had some. I, I kind of put like... I put this all over. Make my skin feel so smooth. I will link it down in the description box. It's a, I, I feel like it's a good primer. It always has all my makeup looks looking cute. Okay, put some on that big chrome dome at the top. I'm going to put some more eyeliner on the bottom lid of my eyes. And then I'm going to put some mascara on. Please don't forget, Tiff. Please don't forget. Because I be forgetting stuff sometimes. Okay, so foundation time. I'm just going to dab that on. Let me find my shades off. I'm going to use your NC45, and this is the NC47. For, um, but it'll do. It's, it's close. And then I also have NW45, but yeah, we're not about to put that on. That's more for like when I'm tanned in the summer. Okay, so I'm just gonna dot this foundation on like this. Da da da. And I'm gonna paint my face. <laughs> slathered a bunch on. Usually I only do like a couple of like little dots of foundation. But it's okay. I'm just spreading it all as much as I can. Make sure you put it underneath the eye. And the hairline. put the foundation on make sure you just go according to the shape of your eyebrow at the top I even go a little bit underneath the neck a little now I'll put some concealer right here because that joker that chin be giving me a hard time My NC45. It's a little light, it's a lighter shade. Okay, what am I gonna do next? Oh, concealer. shake tape put it under the eye like so just highlighting underneath the eyes. This is going to bring your eyes out. Tart shape tape. Tart. 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 You can put some on the chin. If you want to brighten your chin. Some people... Put it on the nose if you wanted for like a contour. I am going to put some contour on there. I don't even be doing it if I'm doing it right. And then I put a little, some few pieces there. 
okay? Okay, so now I do have Tarte, um, Tarte um, concealer in the brown, but this I don't know how to blend this out. Like I cannot blend it out. This is the um, Tarte in the color mahogany. Like I'm not good at blending. Let's just try it. I'm gonna try it today. So if I f it up, uh, so we gonna put some right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I just put a little bit because see, I be doing too much. Okay, that's all I'm doing, y'all. I'm not putting no more. I know people be putting it at the top of their... I mean, I, I said the top of their head. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I ain't messing with it because if my forehead effed up, if, if, my, if I mess it up, don't know how to blend it out, it be seeming like I be just... It just doesn't come out right when I use the um, the brown... Um, the brown contour concealer. Like, you know, it just doesn't work for me. So... <sighs> Let me figure it out. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm going to try to blend this contour out right here. And it just looks like it's just spreading. This is why I don't F with um, brown, the brown. See, look, what the heck did I do? Did I just keep blending for my life or what? I don't want it to be all over my whole face, and that's what usually happens. See, this is why... Okay, let me just, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. See, I don't never feel comfortable when I use it. Okay, let me find my other brush. We're going to slap some powder on that thing, too. That should help, okay? So, I'm going to just blend it out. Just keep blending. And then, I'm just worried about my nose. Oh, gee. Okay, it's not looking bad. It's, okay, just keep blending, Tiff. Just keep blending. Just keep blending. Uh oh, what the heck did I do to my nose? <laughs> I don't know what I did to my nose. Okay, let's just keep blending. Let's just blend, blend. Uh, uh, uh. Blend. Blend. Blend for your life. I don't know what the heck I did, but. Uh. Okay, I hope I did it right. Did I blend right? I can't tell no difference with my nose and the contour. I feel like I just wiped it off with my brush. That's how I felt. But I guess it's on there, right? I don't know why I felt like the crow from um, um, Wizard of Oz with that nose. <laughs> I can't even tell if it's on there, okay? That's why I use the powder contour if I'm a contour. Like, I'm not about to play with no... Um, that brown, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but this got to go because it's got to get out my makeup bag because I'm not gonna use it. I don't know how this foundation gonna come out because I'm not used to wearing that. Um, this concealer right here, this Shape Tape con um, Contour um, Concealer, I'm not used to wearing that. Wait a minute, I forgot to contour this old black spot right here. Cause ain't nobody about to play with you today. Okay, so I'm put some powder on top. I blended it out, but I'm about to put some powder on the top of the areas. Hold on, y'all. Oh, I'm back. I'm about to put some powder on the top of the areas that I contoured. Put some powder. I'm about to put powder all over my damn my damn face. Oh goodness. Then it's gonna be time for blush. This makeup, I don't know, it's gonna feel messy today. I always say that after every video, like, what the heck? Okay, so I put some powder. I put powder. Now I'm gonna put some blush on. We're gonna put some blush on. This is just like some kind of quick makeup today.
I'm just stroking it, stroking, stroking, stroking. Stroking, stroking. I could have put some more um, highlight under my eyes, but I mean, they're looking kind of bright. I ain't gonna trip. We ain't about to trip about it. Next video, I will put that on. Okay, so mascara. We got an. I usually forget my damn eyelashes, so I gotta remember my eye, my um mascara. Using that um extended play giga giga black lash. So I'm just gonna put some on there. Uh, 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 uh. Put some on there real fast. And I kind of like sit the brush in the lashes and curl them up. That's a little trick if you ain't got the eyelash curler, which I don't have. I need to put some um, eyeliner on the bottom shade. The bottom shade of... Oh, good. See, everything is working out today because everything is just so handy. Okay, so I'm putting some on the bottom lid. Okay, I'm back. I'm, so we're back at the part where I'm putting um, eyeliner on the bottom lid with black. Uh, I need to activate this um, pencil, so I'm gonna just, oh, okay, it's activated. I ain't trying to waste it. Eyeliner, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. Activate, activate. Okay. These eyes is black. The eyes is black. That's good enough. Now I'm just gonna put on some lipstick. Some lipstick, I don't know what I'm trying to wear today. Um. I'm just gonna wear my NYX um, um, lip liner. I'm trying to dry my, I lick my lips. So I'm trying to like dry the um, bottom lip and I'm trying to blow on it like this. <laughs> I am a goober. Okay. So cute. We gonna put on some, let me see what I got up in here that's cute. I don't even know. But this lipstick is cute from Urban Decay. It's old in my, it looks like this. You don't see it when I put it on right now. I'm just gonna put this on. It's like iridescent-y. Mm, okay. Mmm, it's cute. This is my first and only lipstick from Urban De Urban Urban Decay. So well, let me see. I'm supposed to put these earrings on. These earrings are from Shein. 
I had bought two pair of them. I had bought two pairs. Oh, did I drop the back? Oh, it's right there on my chest. And this is the look for today, guys. Okay, my hair. I'm about to do my hair. I'm about to put this wig cap on. I'm going to come back and show y'all what the wig is looking like with this makeup on that I just did. Okay. I'm not doing no meltdown method. I'm just putting a wig cap on and I'm going to put the wig band on top. Where is the wig band? Oh, let me see. I don't know. Oh, it's one right here. I've been trying to throw them in my makeup bag so that I don't, um, this wig band got all kind of makeup on it. I'll be trying to buy new ones. So this is where how I'll be securing my wig when I'm, I'm not putting no guys to be glued really like on there. I'm just, um, so this is the look guys. I hope y'all like it. Oh, I didn't put no fixing prep prime on there. I didn't even put no no highlight on either. Okay. Okay, so next I'm gonna come back with my wig on so y'all can see how this looks with the wig. Okay, bye. I mean, I'll be right back. Hi guys, I am back and this is my makeup look with my wig on, girl. Hey. How you guys like it comment down below and let me know how you like the um this hair with this makeup i just did my wig i mean my um my wig is nisha from outre it is the soft and natural lace for a wig it is bomb it is cute and if you guys want it i will link it down below baby it is cute i got this wig from amazon and so this is the finished look with my makeup let me do a close-up for you A little something different you guys make sure that you guys like comment and subscribe to my channel um, I hope you guys like this look of the day today I am wearing my favorite colors, um, my favorite colors, and um, make sure you guys get this video. Um, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. Turn on post notifications. Make sure that you are just locked in with me. If you're not, where have you been? If you're just watching all this time and you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I am, and welcome to my family, the Diva family. Um. You guys, we do all kind of stuff up over here. I be doing all kind of stuff, okay? I just do what my heart desires. And if you like it, make sure that you subscribe and like my, you know, leave me a comment most of all. I want to hear from you guys. I want to hear your thoughts. Make sure that you comment. And yes, you guys, this was another cute look from hair and makeup. And so um, I am Diva, I am Tiffany, also known as Diva Titi on all social media platforms. Follow me over there. I will link them down below. So anyways, guys, I love you. I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. Peace.